ओके वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वॉम वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ओके आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो दिस इज आर कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द चैप्टर वेदरिंग एंड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द सॉयल ओके सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले आई एड लाइक टू प्रोसेड विद द टॉपिक ओके से फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द सॉयल इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ वेदरिंग ओके so these are the rocks and when these rocks are subjected under the different agent of the weathering it will get fragmented into smaller weather particle okay and when this process will continue and it will again get subjected under the different agent of weathering okay and this the fine particles the fine disintegrated particles soil so this is the process now let us discuss the definition of okay soil is nothing but it is a thin thin surface layer of the earth that comprises of your breakdown of the rock that is a process of weathering and decayed organic matter so in the soil we have a two major composition that is a breakdown of the rock particles and decayed organic matter okay or decayed organic matter means your uh, the decayed uh, vegetation the decayed animals okay that add it that will add humus to the soil see next is a uh, important topic the formation uh, that different factor that affect the formation of the soil okay uh, you all can see this all are the factors that affect the formation of the soil now see first one the flora and fauna microorganism okay this affect the rate of humus formation and it also determine the fertility of the soil okay then we have a relief see altitude slope determine the accumulation of the soil we have a different rate of accumulation in the different relief feature suppose in the plain area accumulation will be high the rate of accumulation will be high but in the hilly region comparatively less in this way relief play a very important role in the formation of soil then we have another important factor that is parent material okay or the parent rock because the soil derive its physical and chemical composition from its parent rock okay the color of the soil the texture of the soil that it is from its parent material so the parent rock plays a very important role <clears throat> in the formation of soil then we have a time another important factor time always determine the thickness of the soil okay thickness of the soil we have a different layer of the soil that time will determine okay thickness of this soil then rainfall apart from this rainfall is another important factor no now see this is the soil profile okay this is soil profile you see <clears throat> see uh, this vertical section of the soil showing its different layers showing its different layer is known as your soil profile okay the soil profile has four region okay having different color having different uh, characteristics of its own okay so So this layer A, uh, it is known as your top soil. This is known as top soil that comprises or that containing organic matter and humus. Okay. So first layer is your top soil contains organic matter and humus. Then second zone is known as your zone of accumulation. We call it zone of accumulation of clay. and transported from the above okay here we call it subsoil we call it subsoil then sea horizon is your partially weathered parent material see you can see in the picture this is partially weathered parent material we call it substratum 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 then we have a another horizon that is known as your bedrock okay so this bedrock are unweathered parent material these are the bedrock unweathered parent material so these are the four horizon of this soil okay 
the topsoil, subsoil, substratum and the okay. Okay, now see here, my dear children. One thing you need to understand that uh, soil is very vital resources. Yes or no? The fertility of the soil is determined by the capacity to support the plant life. Okay, like um, there's some uh, we use sometimes artificial fertilizers to make the soil fertile. But however, the excessive use of fertilizer leads to your uh, soil degradation. That means the soil will become infertile. Okay, then. Uh, over utilization of the soil leads to the you know uh, depletion in its quality then uh, there will be a disbalance between the formation of the soil and its utilization okay so we have to maintain some of the factor uh, which maintain the fertility and the quality of the soil now we will see what are those factors that makes the soil very fertile the first one is mineral okay you see your mineral uh, mineral like your potash then your uh, nitrogen silica are very much necessary for your plant growth okay these all are the nutrients for the soil as, as well as for the plant to growth like in our we also require some of the nutrients uh, vitamins minerals in the same way soil also require different types of the minerals to maintain its fertility then organic matter like your humus is the organic matter which is formed by the decay of plant and animal okay humus maintain the fertility of the soil then water is the integral component of the soil because water uh, the soil should have a adequate amount of the water okay uh, water plays a very important role to maintain the fertility of the soil then we have uh, air see air means uh, soil also should have a uh, air or the uh, circulation of the oxygen okay for the better growth of the plant okay so this all are the factors that maintain the fertility of the soil now another important topic we have a uh, erosion of the soil okay um, due to various factors the soil soil are being eroded okay and what are those factors due to the running water due to wind action sometimes with the human action our soil are being eroded okay so what is soil erosion let us discuss okay soil erosion is the washing or blowing away by water or wind by water or wind of the top layer of the soil okay it is the washing away of the top layer of the soil which is very fertile the top soil we, we did in the soil horizon the top soil are very fertile okay so the washing away of that top soil is known as your soil erosion okay so we have a different types of the erosion okay? one by one so this is seed erosion this is all running water the seed erosion is caused by your running water you see here <clears throat> then uh, seed erosion seed erosion see here when the forest are cut down and the vegetation is removed okay that time the rain water the rain water cannot percolate into the soil okay and that will carry the top soil okay then this type of the erosion will takes place see the removing of the top layer of the soil when the vegetation is removed and the water from the rain that cannot percolate into the soil okay this type of the erosion we call it shit erosion <clears throat> this is gully erosion okay uh, gully erosion actually when several layer of the top is removed that time the small depression form on the surface okay small depression and uh, creating uneven uneven you can see no this is uneven uneven surface okay uh, this depression actually are called your gullies okay this gullies are further widened widened up uh, with the uh, widened up with uh, uh, different actions of the water like uh, running water on the uh, surface of the earth and this 
arid badlands or the ravines this is also known as their ravines okay so this type of one are known as their gully erosion it looks like gully not the way so you can see from the picture this is gully erosion okay it is the this type of the erosion takes place when the continuous removal of the um, top soil and when they, they and that create a depression on the earth surface okay and further widening up of this earth surface makes a surface uneven and the gully type of the erosion will takes place okay so this is gully erosion then we have a next wind erosion wind erosion actually it is the removal of the top soil along with the organic matter and nutrients easily okay and it is removed by the velocity of the wind okay when the speed of the wind remove the top soil from the picture only you can see top soil along with the organic matter with the wind by the wind action that then we call it wind erosion this is very much common in the desert area like rajasthan and the coastal region of india okay wind erosion then we are in the very important part of the chapter that is method for soil conservation okay 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 before this uh, apart from this uh, wind erosion and the erosion by the running water human activity plays a very important role uh, in the erosion of this soil like you know overgrazing uh, deforestation random utilization of the soil defective agricultural system these all are the causes for your erosion of the soil by the human action okay so next we have a method of method for the soil conservation see <clears throat> method for the soil conservation okay different methods you can see in the picture we will discuss one by one okay ah uh, the first one is terrace farming okay terrace farming okay uh, you can see the picture this is a very effective method to control the erosion of this soil okay you can see the terrace kind of the structure the steep kind of the structure okay now uh, what is a terrace farming okay this is a very good method of the soil uh, conservation Ter in terrace farm uh, you know sloping land the terrace or the uh, sloping land that will you know cut and make a number of the steps okay the series of the steps this series of the steps that will you know control the erosion of the water coming from one level to another level okay if the soil are being eroded from the first layer it will get deposited in the other layer okay so this level this uh, terrace farming reduce the erosion of the soil through this different steps okay this practice are uh, these are commonly practiced in hilly or the mountain region now next we have a counter plowing okay you can see the counter plowing this type of counter you must have seen in the topo sheet okay see uh, in this counter plowing this kind of the systems are common in the plain area as well as in uh, some of the hilly areas see counter plowing it reduce the erosion and the runoff okay it re reduce the erosion and the runoff how through this barrier okay through this barrier it reduce the erosion of the runoff okay it helps to preserve the top soil and the mineral fertilizers used for the growing crop okay it is used because it protects the crop from violent rain or the heavy rain okay through this counter okay so this is another important method for the conservation of the uh, soil or uh, we can reduce the soil erosion through this counter plow method then we have a wind break or the shelter break okay this is very you uh, unique and very impressive method uh, for the conservation of the soil see this uh, this shelter you know the 
the rows of the trees are planted in order to reduce the speed of the wind so that the soil particles cannot be picked up and carried away okay so this kind of the shelter belt are commonly found in your rajasthan desert area and some of your coastal region as well okay you can see the shelter belt this is farmland and they have uh, you know grown the trees along the side and that will reduce the speed of the wind okay this is windbreak system of the ruin break i have already explained that it will reduce the soil erosion by protecting against the wind okay then okay this all about this is all about the met different methods for the conservation of the soil then apart from this uh, we have another important method that is known as your prevention of overgrazing okay uh, grazing animals should be uh, moved over the different pastures so as to prevent the loss of vegetation cover on a particular patch of the land okay then uh, that uh, this would reduce the soil erosion okay then we have another important concept like a mulching also mulching can be added for the conservation of the soil uh, mean it is means covering mulching means nothing but it is means covering the where ground is covered with a layer of the organic matter like your straw hogs to remain the um, soil moisture okay so mulching and overgrazing is another important two method for the conservation of the soil okay the soil conservation is a great concern for everyone all over the world we know that very well you know so it is our responsibility it is the responsibility of each and individual uh, to conserve the soil it is the resource it is the best resource where all the humans are rely on okay we can say that it is the medium which supports the plant in uh, which in turn provides food for all living organism yes or no either directly or indirectly but we are depend only we all the creatures all the living creatures are or indirectly uh, depend on the soil okay so it is very important resources and uh, we have to think for the conservation of the soil okay so this is all about the chapter I hope you all have understand and thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, I'll be present with another chapter very soon. Thank you and bye bye. Any queries, any doubts, you can always ask me.